and welcome to The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I am Danny. I'm Feats and Beats. Gentlemen, what's first on the agenda? Shots. 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 To Super Bowl, what was it, 59? What is it? Whatever. 50, yeah. Oh, I was close. Yeah. Uh, Jameson. That's nice. Uh, Super Bowl just happened, guys. It did. How do you guys feel about that? Well, you know, it happened. Um, Chiefs won again. I called it, bro. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Taylor Swift won. Taylor Swift. So Swifties. I the only thing that would have been better is if that pass went to Kelsey at the end and he caught it and then like dropped down to one knee and proposed to her right there and there on the spot. That's right. Bam. We would miss like your to say opportunity, bro. That we fully support Taylor Swift being there. So Swifties, please follow us. Uh you know, buy three million dollars worth of merch. And then link at the bio. There you go. <laughs> link at the bio. Link at the bio. Yeah, uh, that was cool. That was, I think, my second Super Bowl I've ever watched ever in my life. Yeah, would you think? my third football did game. You, did you have a good time? It was good. I'll Watching tell you what, game. I enjoyed the company. You know what I'm saying? Cheers. Hey, you know, hey. it's fun. Yes. Our wives are here in the background, guys. <laughs> cheers, to the, cheers to the wives. Next week, they will be uh, doing their episode, The War Wives. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I hear we got a uh, new single. Yes, just dropped yesterday. Hot dogs. Yeah. Reach, you guys, available. Hot dogs. I like that callback. Uh, Reach, guys, our latest single out now on all streaming platforms. Please check it out. Share it. Like it. Give it a review. Do something. You know? Tell somebody about it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Use it in your video. Use it in your videos. Uh, Use it. Buy it. Share it. If you hate it, talk about how much you hate it. Yeah, That's what we want. Shame you know? it. Put it in the corner. Next, up, it. next up, I think we got a uh, yeah. acoustic version of Remain Untamed. Is that, is that the next one? I think and that's then, what we're doing, right? Save Yourself? I think so. Save Yourself the monster. Yeah, y'all ain't ready for Save Yourself. Mike, Mike Z wants that one. Mike Z wants that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Shout out to Mike Z, man. Thanks for always supporting us, dude. Um, Let's talk a little bit. What are we talking about Let's here? talk about the most important thing about Super Bowl, and that is the commercials. The commercials. Oh, yeah. I thought we were going halftime show. All we're right. going, well, that's, you know, yeah. that's yeah. that's secondary. You got to get through the commercials. That's commercials true. are kind of, you know. Yeah. That's like... Probably the only reason why I usually do watch the games, you know, back when I used to. I feel like there's a lot of people the commercials, you know. I feel like there's a lot of people that that, that's the. Um, I don't know so much about commercial wise for me this year, but I am really fucking hyped for Deadpool three. Oh, I was (laughs) gonna say, was it Usher? Uh, It was. I was was hyped for Usher too. (laughs) But Deadpool three looks amazing. I can't. I can't fucking wait, dude. I'm. Just the fact that they got Hugh Jackman back for Wolverine is. Yeah, I'm so stoked about it. Hopefully he fixes the MCU because it's been kind of lacking lately. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. What, what are your highlights of the commercials? For me, I thought the, uh, what was it? The T-Mobile uh, Jason Mimosa one. That was a good one. Jason mm. Mimosa. Mimosa? Momoa? Momoa. Jason Mimosa. Momoa. Jason Momoa. <laughs> I see where I'm at. I'm, I'm yeah, all like, see. okay. That's why they, ladies uh, they, they really love this guy. They have to sell Jason Mimosas right? somewhere, Dude, right, bro? Yeah, that right? shit, at some place, it's got to be handsome, like, the Jason you know I mean? like, <laughs> just, <laughs> just tastes handsome. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. Uh, Rob, commercials? Oh, I like the Christopher Walken one where everyone's that was good. doing their impersonation of Christopher Walken. That was a good one. What about you, Josh? I didn't really pay attention because I was too busy <laughs> helping fucking cook it. <laughs> so, That's right. But the Deadpool one was good. The only thing that was disappointing was they didn't show the full commercial trailer. So yeah, it was like a it teaser to go check it out on so YouTube. What we saw online was pretty cool. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Hell yeah, dude. That yeah. and uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, that looks fucking rad too. Yeah. yeah. There was the, uh, the Arnold. I haven't watched any of those. Yeah. Uh, I think that commercial might have played right before you got here. Okay. Yeah. There was a whole State Farm Arnold one. That one, those, that, there, was a, there was a couple of Arnold ones that were pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. Arnold, man, he's still doing it. One of these days, that guy's going to make it. <laughs> Some, someday, one uh, my favorite, one of my favorites was those the uh, the Budweiser, the What's Up, the What's Up ones. That was good. Yeah, dude, those are the uh, yeah. the old Bud Light ones with like the caveman and the cave comes down and hits the dude in the head. What about the frog one? The frog one was good. I miss like the the Michael Jackson Pepe, Pepsi commercials that he used to do all the time for. This. Remember when they did the uh, like the Bud Bowl? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the bottles one. would play. Yeah. That was good. The laundry bowls, dude. One of my favorite halftime things that ever happened, Sunday Night Heat, Sunday Night, uh, the halftime with uh, The Rock, Mankind. They mm-hmm. did that match, remember? That shit was dope. 
I like wrestling, guys. Sorry. You know? I like my sports predetermined and in spandex. So. <laughs> It's the simple yeah, things. It's in the life. simple things in life, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Did you, uh, yeah. what'd you guys think of Usher? Usher, I enjoyed it very much. It yeah. was one of those things where, like, uh, Jeremy was saying, like, I didn't realize he had that many hits. You know, yeah, he was playing, it was just hit after hit after hit. And, and so many other big hits that he didn't do. You know? John came out. Little John came out. Ludacris was there. Ludacris dude. Was he even there. brought out his afro. That shit was wild, dude. Yeah. Full on. I really wanted him to just be like, move, bitch. Get out the way. I wanted him to like throw little. Oh, you wanted him to take over the show. Yeah, that would have been awesome. He just threw Usher off the stage. That would have been all about it, dude. The roller skating on the stage was pretty cool. I didn't. I just didn't understand how Usher got roller skates on so quickly. I barely yeah. noticed you think he did that he it himself or he had a roller skate guy there underneath the stage. I think they just came out of his feet. He just went, <laughs> Inspector Gadget style. He's on those? Yeah, he's got just, Heelys. He just, that's awesome. Expector. He's just said Go Go Gadget go, skates. Go Gadget and skates, and they popped out. <laughs> and then he just goes Go Go Gadget shirt, and it disappears. It disappears. He's <laughs> like Go Go Gadget <laughs> chest. It's just fucking. Yeah. Yeah. I I enjoyed his halftime show. I'm, I've always been an Usher fan. So. Yeah. yeah. There's been worse. Mm -hmm. There's been worse. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded pretty good. It did. I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't. Mad uh, about Alicia that. Keys being a part of it too was really. really I think nice. that was kind of my favorite part. Yeah, she's awesome. She's one of my favorites. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Rob? What was your favorite Usher song? Yeah. 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 Seventy. Seventy nine times. Nine times. Yeah. I yeah. still say there's there's no way that it's. 79 times that he's got to be yeah, more. It's got to be way more than that that he's saying. That. Yeah. I think there's some, some, yeah, some yeahs <laughs> in the background that they're not counting somewhere. There's a backup yeah. track of yeahs yeah. in there. Yeah. 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 Fuck, dude. Speaking of, you know, uh, uh, Vegas, you want to go to this next one? Well, how about, how about this? What was your, what was your favorite uh, halftime show performance you can remember? Uh, that I can remember? You know, I enjoyed the one where the, the Chili Peppers were on it. That was good. And the Flea got a lot of shit because his fucking shit wasn't plugged in. He was just dancing. Oh, uh, is that the one with Bruno Mars? <laughs> well, we're yes, it was so. the Bruno Mars one. That one was dope. The yeah. one that always got me was the Michael Jackson one where he, he like came up and he just stood there. And he and had like, a nip slip? No, so no, Janet Michael Jones. Jackson. Oh. And, and he came out there and he just stood there for like a minute. I don't know how many seconds it was. A homie just takes in that, that crowd, dude. Do you yeah. know how much that minute costs in in a Super Bowl time frame? Like that's that's wild. It's crazy that he just stood there for sixty seconds of the performance. It's Michael, dude. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That was it. Yeah, they should bring him back. Well, then he <laughs> popped up on the sign, and he popped up over there, and he jumped up out of the stage. It was amazing. I don't so even know how they did. Different Michaels, dude. It's just, no, it's just him. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. It's all him. Uh, you were talking about uh, Janice Nipple. Right? What? Yeah. Janet Jackson's too? nipple? Oh, I thought that was a person, Janet's nipple. Jan I thought it was Michael. Michael Michael's nipple? Uh, <laughs> Michael's nipple? Shit. I thought it was the whole time. That's wild, dude. What? <laughs> That's crazy. What about you? You got a favorite Super Bowl performance? Sound wise would probably be the Bruno Mars one, just because him playing the drums and performing sounded pretty good. Um The one last year wasn't that bad. With Snoop Dogg and all that, that was pretty. Oh, good. that's right. But yeah, that was the one with like Fifty Cent. I would Dr. just felt bad yeah. if you were there at the stadium because they were showing people's like actual live video up in the top. They couldn't fucking hear shit. Oh, that's so. Sucks. If you were there, you saw them performing, but you could not hear any of the music or anything. Yeah, that sucks. It's crazy. It's crazy. Didn't pay for the PA system or something. Sound guy. <sighs> Doc, you gotta, gotta get it going on, you know. That's surprising from Dr. Dre, dude. What about you? Got any? Uh, Halftime performances you like? I think I think the shark the sharks were good. Remember the Katy Perry one with the shark? Katy oh, Perry. I was gonna say that was Katy Perry one. That's right? good. I think I saw that one. Um, that was a good one. That was dope. I don't know. I like Prince. Prince was good. Prince was cool too because it was in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that the? Is that where you the one you wanted to throw away, Minnesota? Should I think I believe that's where Prince was yeah. like from. You know. Oh. So it was sure. in like his hometown, and he's. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, doing the Super Bowl thing. So Super Bowl being in Vegas, dude. There was a dude climbing on the sphere. Yeah, there's some guy that uh, I guess he walked up, climbed up the sphere. Security came out. Dude kept going. I think he uh, does some kind of charity stuff. I think it's like a pro life type thing, and he raises money for charities. And there's like video. Of this guy like 
literally standing on the top of the sphere. He just climbed up it. And and if you saw the video, it's not something that you could just like easily climb. It's like no, thank you, dude. But you're gonna die. Okay, so how do you get down? I hate changing a light bulb, bro. I'm not getting any higher than that. Climbed, I think he climbed down, but I'm saying shit looked dangerous. It looked sketchy. You think he slid down? You can just kind of so. slide that slide down, right? I think, don't know. I think you're gonna you die. Break your legs on the way <laughs> down. <though. laughs> uh, Tom Cruise has yet to do it for his next Mission Impossible movie, but leave it up to him. What the hell is that guy gonna do next? He did, was it already hanging out of an airplane at one point? Angle. How's this guy raising money? Backflipping off stuff? clips with dirt bikes. He's pretty. Who, uh, How's this? You said he does it for like charity. Money. Yeah, yeah. He, he leaves no links, nothing. Like, how, well, who's donating to this? I don't video? know how it works. <laughs> no, I think it wasn't he just, the links. It was I think he just raises spirit. attention for it, it you know, spirit. something like that. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. I, yeah, I don't, it's not that I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of falling, you know? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Both. Mm -mm. I'm an audio guy. Yeah. I keep my feet on the ground. I was, I was wondering where you're going with that. I was just like, yeah. I don't feel I'm an audio guy. That means they go, they go, hey, can you go up in that tower? And I go, no, oh, I'm yeah. not going up there. No, 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 totally the slogan, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, man. Um, I want to just talk really quick about Toby Keith dying and not because, like, oh, it's fucking sad. Guy was a racist. Fuck that guy. Um, but, like, my, my, you know, the saddest part for me was realizing that all my favorite Toby Keith songs were sung by Garth Brooks. So I'm all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Uh, I just came home and I saw it on my phone. I was like, oh, Toby Keith died. And uh, Andrew was in the kitchen and he's like, who's that? And I was like, oh, he sings, he sings this song and he sings this song. And I was like thinking, I'm like, no, those are all Garth Brooks songs, dude. My bad, dude. I have no idea what the fuck he sings. <laughs> have you, like, <laughs> have you heard the, uh, the story uh, about Garth Brooks and how there's people that are talking about that he's a serial killer. Yes. Uh, Have you heard any of that? What's his name's band? Like he started on a podcast. Tom right. Uh, Tom Segura. Yeah. Did you, did you know about this at all? <laughs> he said oh, like, yeah. like he, uh, he started the rumor so much to the point, like his fans started like harassing Garth Brooks on Instagram. That's amazing. dude. Yeah. That's so funny. He probably his did it. Bodies in the <laughs> basement of his walls or whatever. Yeah, man. I couldn't see Garth Brooks doing anything like that. I don't know, bro. What's he's he hiding? Got, what's he's he hiding under that hat? Friends in low places. No. So maybe not him. But he's got lights. See what I'm saying? Okay. He's got lights. <laughs> Isn't he bald? <laughs> I don't know. Is he? Yeah. I've never, I, is he bald? He was bald. He wears a hat. Aren't they all? So I don't know. Like, he always wears a hat. <laughs> you're, not, they you're, they not wrong, you're not wrong, Aren't they all? You're not wrong. Oh, fuck. Nothing uh, intended. Sorry. Yeah, man. Oh fuck! What do you what do you uh, want to favorite, talk? What do you want to go next? Toby Keith song. Favorite, favorite dude. I couldn't. I don't think I can name a Toby Keith song. Uh, to be honest with you. No. 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 Uh, Thunder rolls. Nope. Nope. Uh, low places. That's Garth Brooks. Uh, that's Garth Brooks. Uh, Red solo. Yeah. Uh, Red solo. I don't higher. Know. That's Creed. Okay. Higher. <laughs> what? That's Creed or Cypress Hill, depending on which one. Take me. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, next year's yeah. Super Bowl. Next year's Super Bowl, dude. Oh, is Creed playing next time? Next Bro, year? I hope not. Bro, I love Creed, dude. Creed's yeah, awesome. you would. <laughs> Are we gonna, we gonna badmouth Creed right now, dude? No, it's okay. I'm with you. You know, you know what I, I, I like the best songs. about Creed is the guitar player, say, but it's the not bass the singer, player, it's and the drummer. Tremonti and the drummer. When yeah, they well. get together and do something, it's pretty cool. It's yeah, I mean, the singer's a douchebag. Yeah, we can call call it what it is. Nah, I'm just about. You know, not, they got, they, not throwing blows. I'm just saying. They got some bangers, though, dude. Oh, no, I'm not doubting that at all. At that, that point, Alter Bridge, right? Yeah, that's, so pretty much that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm a like, bigger fan of that. Is that, was that the rest of the band? Alter Creed Bridge? is Alter Bridge with another singer. Really? With what? Miles Kennedy? Miles Kennedy. Okay. The guy who's with Slash. Which he's, he's, yeah. All right. That dude can sing. Wow. That dude's got some. The guy from Rockstar. Yeah. He's got some. Mark rage. Wahlberg? No, the guy <laughs> the other, passes it off. To oh, him. the real singer. I like Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> the real singer. <laughs> singing, uh, singing for Creed, or yeah. which? Yeah, dude. Imagine oh, yeah. Mark Wahlberg singing for Creed. That alternate universe. That's what I want to live in, dude. That's what's up. Still got awful. <laughs> feel it. Feel it. Oh. Feel the vibration. Oh man, that's right. I forgot all about that. He did the whole. He oh, was yeah. Marky Mark too. Like yeah, he's dude, already yeah. had and a music his career. funky bunch and the funky like, bunch, dude. Yeah, he had a whole music forget. career there. Was was the Funky Bunch like the rest of his band or something? Is that what they were? Entourage. This is Entourage. Oh, you know what we need? An Entourage. An Entourage. The Last Days of War and the, the Funky Bunch. Well, I mean, something. Okay. something. 
<laughs> you know where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, dude. The last days of Funky Bunch. The last days of Funky Bunch. That dude. sounds better. Funky Bunch. Yeah. We should make a song called Funky Bunch. An entourage would be dope, though. Somebody to roll our weed for us. Uh, Snoop Dogg's got a guy that does that, right? Snoop Dogg needs a he guy. Pay, he pays. You know dude, what? He pays that dude so much That's money to saying, roll Snoop, if you need a guy, uh, Snoop, I know a couple guys that'll you know, do this for you. Know a guy that knows a guy. Yeah, that knows a guy. Yeah. Fuck. Um, and we are hot take. Hot take. Let's go <laughs> with this hot take. take. It's, uh, in, in the spirit of football, what is this hot take? Fantasy football is actually du- just Dungeons and Dragons for sports fans. That's a uh, no, no. That's a uh, that's, uh, that's speaking facts, dude. I uh, mean, yeah. right? Yeah. Each player you get on a team, and then if they score points, you get points, and they roll the dice. It's Dungeons and Dragons yeah, for dude. fucking. Football. Yeah. Real snake eyes that Taylor Swift fucking <laughs> pops out and shit. <laughs> what do you think of that, Rob? I, I, I just, I think it's funny that we should be teaching these kind of subjects in school. Like, do I really need to know this subject in math? Well, yeah. You're going to have to add numbers because you're going you're gonna to have players with these stats and they're going to be throwing these numbers around. And you got to add your points quickly, and then you got to build up a better team. So that's a subject I could see them throwing in in high school is how to fantasy football league professional, you know, like, oh, God damn it. This is the important stuff. Yeah, like th- <laughs> build a quality team for your fantasy football league. How do you guys feel about the we won people? The we won fans. What's the we the we ones? Like, oh, we did it! Oh, we made the Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl. You didn't do shit, dog. You sat on your couch. Sit the fuck down. That bugs the shit out of me when people say we won. I don't yeah. know why. It really does. <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, you didn't yeah, do you, anything. You sat on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Fucking armchair quarterback the whole game, dog. You know what I mean? Yep. That that fucking video. Like, I know. I just <laughs> you saw that fucking video. Is like, oh, I want a loser. What a fucking sitting loser. Sitting on the couch. <laughs> Dude, that <laughs> your shitty apartment. <laughs> that fucking video is so funny, dude. I, that <laughs> that's that is one of those videos at two a.m. I'm sitting in bed, <laughs> laughing my ass off, Did trying not it? to wake. <laughs> it's like some gymnast that's like doing something and she falls, right? Yeah, and she's like doing like the floor routine and she falls, and there's this <laughs> goes to some guy on the couch. He's literally got like his finger in his belly button. He's like, oh, what a loser! <laughs> what a fucking loser! <laughs> Laying there with his shirt off. <laughs> Lame loser. <laughs> Falling down. If doing that's the not gymnastics. sports fans in a fucking nutshell, dude, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that gets me is, you know, like like the Super Bowl just happened, right? And it's just there. Uh, it was great. Oh. Um, 49ers lost, right? Yeah. And like Brock Purdy, their oh, quarterback, spoiler alert. he's a rookie. Oh. And it's just like people will literally go like, oh, he didn't win the Super Bowl. He sucks. And it's like, bro, he got to the fuck, Super Bowl. bro. Like. Yeah, like that in itself is massive, you know? Yeah. How many rookies go take a team to the Super Bowl? That's crazy. I don't uh, think there's been very many. As far as I know him, right? Well, there's not very many. Yeah. You know? I don't think it's a very long list, so. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Good for that, dude. Yeah, yeah it's good a, for It's him. a hell of a rookie year to get to the Super Bowl, right? I heard that because uh, his contract is so little of money that the uh, 49ers fans set up like a GoFundMe. And they raised money so that he could like pay his Uber, for real? his expenses, his and his, like, <laughs> like his rent and his expenses so. because he's traveling, doing this and that, and he's only getting like league minimum. Yeah. And and you don't you don't get paid out like contract day comes and they throw you all this money, it gets paid out. And, yeah, know. for sure. So yeah, the 49ers fans I guess put together like a GoFundMe and raised a bunch of money to like raise well. more money for their player. Yeah. No, they want to seems kind of like seems kind of like the uh, the corporate stature of the world. You know, it's like we're not going to pay our employees enough, so you got to tip them a bunch. And dude. yeah, dude, it's just a crazy thing, you know. Yeah, you you guys ever played Dungeons and Dragons? No, I the closest I ever got to playing Dungeons and Dragons is I watched Stranger Things. That's that's that is, that is my, all my knowledge of Dungeons that's, and Dragons. Yeah, yeah, I never I never did it when I was a kid. Yeah. Gonna be honest, it surprises me that you have it, Rob. I oh, felt yeah. like you'd be the type of person to be into something like that. Likewise. What's what? <laughs> wait, what is the type of person? No, like I figured he would be into. In, I mean, like because we're like big wrestling fans. I I've always wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons. I just don't know anybody you that plays it. You should do it. 
tomorrow. We need to find somebody. Wrestling and board games. Bro, we could start a Dungeons and Dragons, but wrestling just wrestlers, game? bro? Fantasy wrestling, dude. Bro. <laughs> no? Dungeons and Dragon these nuts. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's a Stu Hart story. I mean, well, you know. No. We'll put that one on the shelf. We'll, put, we'll let that one cook. Oops. Okay. <laughs> We have uh, technical difficulties back there. Over there. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, what are we doing here? Prince? Do you want to do a hot Let's do a hot take, man. Let's do a fucking hot take. Hot takes, hot takes. It's been a fucking minute, dude. At least three minutes, dude. Okay. Out loud. I have no idea what that means. We're going to go to another one. Oh, shit. Uh, they should have read it all. There we go. <laughs> right? <laughs> that one time. Okay. Lyft is better than Uber. As do you guys take Lyfts or Ubers? Never been in one. I don't think I've ever. I will say that I I I've done both, but I use Lyft more because yeah. of the colors. I think so. Oh, okay. Very nice. And what I'm I used being that I used to do both. I used to actually do uh, do them as well. Lyft paid better. Yeah. So I've never done that. That's probably the reason why. Yeah. But uh, that one fucking sucked. Yeah, what do, what do you think is better? I think driving your own car. Let's do that, dude. Drive Let's your own car. That. Oh, here's a good one. The moon landing was fake. Which one? Where, where's you got, Danny? Go. <laughs> Let's go. You you know me and conspiracy theorists in my life. I know. I saw your eyes. So I've, I've I've heard <laughs> I've I've heard all of the debates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you're uh, the master debater, dude. That's right. Don't forget that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's bullshit. That it was fake. I think it actually. I think it literally happened, and people that see it that way are just yeah. You know, I mean, it's time to move on. Moon landing was fake. The fucking Earth, Earth flat. is flat. The fucking election was rigged. Fucking yeah. You know all, all them things. All, one thing in common. It's made of cheese. Red hats. Hmm? <laughs> Red hats. Do a hot take, Danny. Let's go. Let's go. What you got? Hot takes, hot takes. Dark chocolate is better than milk chocolate. Mm. I would have shit on that 20 years ago, but as I get older, I fucking love dark chocolate. It is delicious. And it's better for you. That's what I've heard. I don't even know if that's true. I've heard no, dark that, chocolate is better for you. I've me, heard right? that people that eat dark chocolate have twice as many stem cells in their body than people who don't. It's Check. like scientifically proven. Check. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard people that eat more milk chocolate make up more facts. Oh, I mean, this is what I heard. That's wild, dude. Uh, oh, there's some wild allegations. This is weird shit. Going yeah. on, you know what I'm saying? Hit me with a hot take, Rob. Let's go. Let's get one of these bad boys. Yeah, it's hot takes brought to you by Reach yeah. in the last days of war. Bill on Oscar and platforms. Brangelina over Brad and Jen. Brad, Brad, Jelena, Brad, Jelena, Brad, Jelena over Brad and Jen. What do you got? Um, with Brad Jelena, we got Mr. and Mrs. Smith facts, and we got the kids. With uh, we got the kids. Oh, like yeah. their kids? They had kids. With huh? Brad and Jen, I think all we really got was uh, horrible bosses. Wasn't bad. It's a good movie. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah. Horrible Bosses or Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Which would you prefer? Horrible Bosses. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I go with that I, too. I'm just more of a comedy guy in general, so. Yeah. Horrible Bosses is a good movie. I think, uh, I think this is what I think. I think Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston is better without, she's better off. You know. We're worried about you, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> call. Uh, give us a call. Call us. Yeah. We'll, we'll have you on the morning chat. Yeah. We'll do lunch. We got you. We'll do lunch. We'll lunch it out. Yeah. Josh, you're paying though. You want to <laughs> take a card? I frankly don't give a shit. There you go. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. I don't care. But if I'm Brad in the situation, then I'm going with Brad Jelena. There you go. Man, that's what's up. Sorry. Yeah. Hit us with a hot take, Josh. Hey, it's not my brother. <laughs> Hit us with a hot take, Josh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's kiss your go. brother, that's your business. Just don't do it in front of me. Shit ain't my brother. It ain't my brother. <laughs> you kiss her brother all she wants. 
<laughs> oh, hell yeah. I would rather live on a private island than a penthouse in my dream city. Absolutely. I'm definitely, yeah. yes, private island. Private island. I'll invite you guys, but yes, private island. Mm -hmm. I don't I like people. That. I appreciate that. That means I'd, a lot. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's special. Crazy. <laughs> um, I'd go private island. Private island for me, dude. Are you in, what you got? What you got? Penthouse? Yeah. Like where Johnny would be? Chico? Where would it be? Where Johnny would Johnny Chico? Chico is? Where Johnny Chico is? So he's, on a, he's on a private island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, <laughs> fuck you. It's the best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. I have a private penthouse on my favorite island. city in the island. I guess that's technically allowed. Judges, Judges. <laughs> <laughs> I wins. That was a good one. Thank um, you. That's yeah. your own night. Yeah, man. So uh, I guess uh, we're rehearsing next week, and then we are we're gonna do a live. We are gonna do a live. Stream. We are gonna we are gonna be live. We're gonna do a live do stream, a live stream show. show. We'll call it a show. We'll call it kind of a show. We're basically we're just gonna we're gonna get together. We're gonna hook everything up. We're gonna talk to you guys and we're gonna play some fucking songs until we're fucking tired, or until we run out. <laughs> until we songs. run out of songs or air or or air. Or, or if you don't need enough, we'll play that one song again. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what he's talking. We're doing requests. Are we doing requests for we're that or what requests. are we doing? I'm trying to make money here, guys. Oh, link in the bio. Buy some merch. You know what I'm saying? Buy some merch. Do some shit. Uh, sign up for his OnlyFans. My girl. kid needs their left shoe, okay? You got the right one, though? The right one's it's the only on one layaway. There. It's the only one you buy. Remember layaway, dude? They don't do that anymore, huh? No. I don't think so, man. Bro, I, uh, I remember layaway, dude. I used to be so excited. My dad would be like, oh, we're going to go get a video game. And I'm like, cool. He's like, on layaway. I'm like, fuck, so I can't play for like three months? What, what, dude, what, when like, I was, what, what's going on? When I was younger, anytime I got a hold of some cash, I would go to like the, the local music store. And I would put like, if I had 60 bucks, I would be like, I want that guitar. And I'm putting 60 bucks on it. And then anytime I get cash, and then eventually I just get a new guitar. They're like, he's like, how much do I got left? They're like, $8,000. <laughs> 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 I'm right back in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did that one a few times. I just come in and pay 20 bucks a week or whatever, you know? Yeah. Bro. That was <laughs> always... I walked out with a cool guitar. Some of those places are cool, though, if you're constantly paying every week. Yeah. They'll work with you. Oh, no. Or yeah, if yeah. Really like, do you show yeah. you really want the guitar? We'll hold it. Yeah, I would take like 20 to 60 bucks a, a week. And, and like... I think the, the next level over that was Rena Center. Right? Then you just were able to rent the shit. I don't think they rent bag. guitars, though. Yeah. There's a great Rent a Center story. Maybe they do. There's a great Rent a Center story. My dad used to get his computers from Rent a Center, dude. I think you used to tell me that, that all the furniture you guys and had, then, your dad every, would always. Absolutely everything we had in, in his apartment was like from fucking Rent a Center, right? Yeah. And he would always like get, a, he would get a computer or he would get like a laptop with it. And then like, inevitably, he'd be like, I don't know why all these fucking pop-ups keep popping up and fuck titties everywhere. I don't know what's going on, you know? Like, I gotta take it back. I gotta get a new one. And I'm like, I wonder how that happened, Dad. It's all like, screwed up. It won't run. And he keeps putting titties Something wrong with it. all these. It keeps popping up all this. You go in his browser history. Yeah, yeah. You're just yeah, like, I'm sure Whoa. you have no idea how that happened, Dad. Just stay off the internet. All right. Yeah. Oh, That's shit, what dude. I feel like doing. Yeah. Oh man, the worst was when they came back to pick shit up. You didn't pay it off. That's why you know I, I, mean? I clear my browser history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I think I remember. I think my dad said that. Uh, he's like, I think I think it was our fridge. Like we got a fridge for like a wedding gift or something. He's like, oh yeah, I got it for bread or you know. And it's like, and then he was just like, oh, I really don't have to pay it off because they think it's at this other address, but it's at your guys' house. They're never gonna find it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> so they're just gonna come to a different address. There's no fridge here. <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> he takes somebody else's damn fruit. Like, you know, what would be a cool feature for the iWatch Let's or go. the Apple Watch is if uh, you start to flatline and you die, and it shocks you. It knows to clear your browser history <laughs> for you. I, I think the only problem would be is like you take your watch your off phone at just night, self destructs, and like you set it on like something, and then it just dies. dies then... So it just clears your phone. You're like, ah, oh, I'm in the middle of a business trip, and it just cleared my itinerary. I have no fucking clue what's going on. Oh, holy shit! My watch said I died. No shit. And with that, we'll be right back. What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from the Last Days of War. What's going on? Just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's we the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the uh, Facebook and threads. Those are all the last days of war. And X is the last days of war because the is too long. 
Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're back, you guys. Shots. Famous. Cheers. Cheers. To everybody but Toshi. Oh, yeah. Jameson. I poured that a little heavy handed. I'm sorry. Woo! Fuck. That was a double. That was good, dude. Oh, yeah. That, that Jameson was good. <laughs> dude, so last week we were talking a little. Uh, alpha Chaconians? A little Alpha Chaconians. We're always talking Alpha Chaconians. <laughs> And uh, a little bit of WWE, and we're talking about how uh, The Rock becoming the head of TKO and kind of wedging his way into uh, the main event of WrestleMania. I saw this thing on TV where The Rock was punching somebody. Oh yeah. Is so you're talking about? So they had a they had a press conference for WrestleMania, and uh, The Rock was there, Seth Rollins and uh, uh, Roman Reigns being the two champions that Cody could pick from. They had The Rock, come, uh, I think Roman came out first and he was like, Cody, you're taking too long. So I'm going to pick my my opponent and it's it's The Rock, you know? And uh, this whole thing happens where we're like, Seth, Seth and he's like, that's not how it works. He gets to pick, not you, you know? So, but The Rock comes out and he's like, whether you like it or not, this is your main event. You know, he's calling people the Cody crybabies on uh, the Pat McAfee show. It's brilliant. I love that they decided to go Hill Rock, dude. That they decided to go, you know what? This is not being received well by the the public. Let's uh let's just turn you into an asshole, dude. Yeah. And uh, that's Play exactly it, right? what they did, man. And uh, I love that Cody comes out and he's like, This is bullshit. This is my I won the rumble. I'm gonna face Roman. Too bad, Rock, you know? And he starts talking trash to Roman and uh he said something about like their bloodline and like uh, one of their grandfathers or something and the rock's like whoa 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 you're talking about roman's family you're talking about my family we're that's this is my cousin so if you're talking bad about his grandfather you're talking bad about my grand my back my grandfather <laughs> and uh i might be uh you know a little high no, no, that, I, thought you were, I thought you were the rock first <laughs> <laughs> and uh so yeah he was just like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna He's like, if you're talking shit about that, then I got a problem with you. And he smacked the shit out of Cody, and it was really cool. And uh, I, for one, <clears throat> I don't even know where this is going. Is this, do you think it's going to turn into a tag match? Well, but there's still a pay-per-view before. Yeah, there's the elimination. Ch- there's two before? Yeah. Is, are they doing Saudi before or after? I think it's before. So they, they have a like a 10-year deal with Saudi Arabia where they go and they do like two shows a year or, or two or three shows a year. Yeah. And I think one of those is coming up in between now and WrestleMania. And then they have the Elimination Chamber, which is happening in Australia for the first time. I think ever, right? Is that? I don't think they've ever done a live show. I know they've done house shows, but not like a live pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're looking for like a really big match there. But none of those guys have been advertised for that show, for said show yet. So it's uh, WrestleMania... Uh, ever, ever since what 2020 it turned into two nights because mm-hmm. it was COVID that made it turn into two nights right yeah yeah so what happened was when everything shut down for COVID it happened right before Wrestlemania and they had to like they're like okay well we can't do this in a stadium we're gonna do this at the performance center but because of COVID rules we can only have so many people in the building at once so we're gonna have these matches happen on Saturday and these matches happen on Sunday and Wrestlemania is now night one and night two and ever since then it's been two night Wrestlemania's which is awesome <clears throat> because for a while, WrestleMania was literally like a work shift to watch. It was like fucking eight, they nine hours. They jam-packed eight, everything eight, nine in hours four worth of hours. So they like, split it up. So, they, so, so splitting it up, you're getting max two, three-hour shows, which is perfect. Which you're selling yeah, more tickets, perfect, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're selling more tickets, like yeah. you said. Yeah. More, you know, more revenue, all that Seems other stuff. Seems like a good move, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, so my theory is, is they're going to go... S- because Seth Rollins is kind of injured. He hurt himself. So um, if he's still not 100%, they can mask that by putting him in a tag match. And I think him and Cody versus The Rock and Roman for night one main event would be would be the way to go. And then Cody and Roman lose, somehow pissing off The Rock, where The Rock will help Cody win night two WrestleMania. Is this like your prediction? That's, you that's, that's having been a wrestling fan my whole life, that's how I would book it and that's how i see them probably doing it if they wanted to go that route but 
Yeah. It's one of those things where like if you watch wrestling long enough, you kind of know where they're going with things. Yeah. You know? So that's why it's, I'm curious to know what you think. It seems about. to me like they have they have some opportunities to kind of run a few different stories at the same time. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Rob? Uh, I don't it know. It doesn't matter what you think. Ah, I got you. No, <laughs> I, that's, you know, every time I feel like you they bring me. back the rock, <laughs> every time they bring back the rock now, it's just like it's to force feed something because the WWE universe isn't accepting of, oh, hey, Roman Reigns won again. Enjoy it. But it's just like, oh, but now here comes the rock now they're family but who really sits at the head of the table and it's just like yeah roman reigns and it's like oh you know they're just gonna have beef and so you have the rock come out and he can put over roman reigns even more because it's the rock and he can throw him in a fast and furious movie and you're just like yeah it took a long time for them to get roman over do you yeah. think that's why the rock gets used like that you know i mean well he either gets used or folds into it in whatever way because of his career in movies and stuff. Oh, yeah, Where he's sure. just, he's not available all the time, um, so they put him so in when they can. The, 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 the funny thing is, is, like, they tried this before with Roman where uh, I believe it was, like, was it the 2015 or 2016 Royal Rumble that he won? Yeah. Where The Rock came out after, like the Rock came well, out. But like he was supposed to win. He was supposed to win the year prior, and he didn't. And it was just like this underdog, and he was doing great. And they fucking threw him out of the ring, and he lost the Royal Rumble. So then the following year, they're like, okay, everyone really wanted him to win. So there you go, he wins, and it's just like, yeah, but we now, wanted that, now we wanted that feels, last year. Yeah, we wanted. Yeah, but that was last year. Now you're just force feeding us this, and no, we don't fucking want this. It's like, yeah, but here comes the Rock. Yeah, I don't care. The Rock yeah. can't sell me on this. Like, There's a great clip of the rock picking up Roman's arm at that Royal rumble and like pointing to him, like expecting the crowd to cheer and they just boo the shit out of him. And you can see the confusion in the rock's face. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do now. I, this is everything I had for you, brother. This was me. This is me fucking putting the spotlight on you and they just shit all over it. So I don't know what you want me to do, you know? And flash forward all these years, they finally turn Roman, Roman Reigns heel. And he becomes a, like, ironically becoming a bad guy became a super popular almost good guy you know like the people love people love him but now they're kind of getting tired of him because he's been champ for like three years and he wrestles like seven times a year and that's about it you know yeah so people are like oh we're getting tired of this so bringing the rock back once again to try to pass the torch to roman because everybody knows if they do this roman's gonna beat him like rome like why would you have the rock come back to become champion that doesn't benefit anybody right you don't need a 55-year-old, well, well, I don't know how old The Rock is, 50-something-year-old WWE champion. That's not going to benefit the future. It's not going to build anybody new. Yeah, new you know? and fresh, yeah. Uh, so what do you think? You think Cody's <clears throat> finishing the story at WrestleMania? Uh, I just think nobody in that business right now knows what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. I think it's complete turmoil with everyone trying yeah. to cover their ass and it's just... What's what's interesting is so for many years it was like Bruno San Martino was the longest reigning WWE champion at some like I think it's like eight years he was like eight years, like eight it's like a some crazy ass number of years and uh, the second place I believe is Hulk Hogan and that's at like four years and. There's this theory that, hey, we're just having Roman Reigns hold this title forever so that we can have new longest reigning champions that are more relevant to this day instead of, like, the Hogans and the the Honky Tonk Mans and the, like, because we're coming to the ages now of, like, people who were fans of them. It's like, okay, yeah, you guys, yeah, we're glad you're still fans, but you guys all have kids now that are into John Cena and Roman Reigns and fucking, we need to put these guys in the brackets of longest reigning champions. And, like, they just did it with Gunther in the Intercontinental title. He just surpassed uh, the Honky Tonk Man, who was the longest reigning Intercontinental champion for fucking years, since, like, the 80s. So I think that... Uh, so that's why I worry <clears throat> that they're going to give Cody a second shot and Roman's just going to beat Cody because Hogan's record doesn't get surpassed till after WrestleMania. And if, they, and if they're looking to have Roman Reigns be the, the, one of the longest reigning champions without having to do the Bruno San Martino thing because I don't think anybody wants to see anybody champion for eight years. 
it's predetermined, guys. You know, come on. You know, like, well, like, that was back that, when like pay per views were once every three months or you know, yeah, it months. was the big four. It was yeah, it was like, uh, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, Survivor Series, SummerSlam. That was literally the old, there was only four pay per views back then. So they would tell stories all year, building up to these quarterly pay per views. But now they fast track everything because they have a pay per view every fucking month. There's even cases sure, where there's yeah. months where there's two in a month where it's like one at the beginning and one at the very end. You know, so just burning through stories. They're just burning through it. So that they get criticized a lot for that, for not playing the long game. And then when they do decide to play the long game, everyone's like, fucking get to the point. And I'm like, you can't please a wrestling fan, dude. <laughs> you know, I saw I saw the press conference and one of my biggest takeaways was fucking those dudes wear some fucking tight pants, bro. Right? I was just like, how in the hell yeah. is that comfortable? Yeah. You're not wrong. What do you think about their pants, Rob? Oh, I wasn't looking at their pants. I don't believe that. I mean, um, <laughs> he punched him in the face. Yeah, he did. I was just like, wow, where did he get this? Yeah, but all Cody, of, Cody does wear some nice suits, though. For me, he? all of the time that I heard the wah, 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 I was going, God, fucking these dude's pants must be uncomfortable as fuck. Like, Damn, look at that outline. Look at that <laughs> ass. <laughs> Why do you, you almost think they call see him the rock? Is, yeah. is that the rock's rock? <laughs> What's <laughs> going on over there? Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, fuck. You want to go into this next story, Danny? Weed Lady. Weed Lady. Brought what to you by. Call, you're going to call so it. So, Rob, Rob had. You I hadn't heard I, I, about this. I don't know. Days of War. This isn't my friend. This, I don't even know who you're talking about. You just read, you just read it? I the just article? Seen Weed Some Lady, of the facts, yes. And I'm okay. Like, so I heard about this like two weeks, maybe. I, I, I think this happened a while ago. There was yeah, it happened in it? 2018. Okay. But the, the but just hearing about the story is wild. But yeah. are we going to call this weed lady? Or? It's weed lady. It's weed lady. Okay, so or, anyways. Or a wee lady. She, she, a tiny weed, she was lady. It says weed high lady. and she stabbed her boyfriend 108, 108 times, times and stabbed herself as well. Well, wait, I didn't know she stabbed herself. Yeah, it says she also stabbed How herself. How many times did she stab herself, though? Didn't just say. once? Yeah, she was like, she was like, I'm not I'm doing that. She's like, you get 100. Times. Oh, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> doing yeah. even 200. Bro, what was she smoking, dude? Some good shit. Weed. It was just weed, right? Weed. Yeah. Okay, so, anyways, I guess she got weed lady, uh, you're not wrong. some community service. She got community service and probation. And probation, which I think was like two years. Yeah. So. She stabbed him a hundred something times. I believe he dies. Yes. The police had to tase her because uh, she was still wielding the knife and they found her in a pool of blood, had to tase her and hit her with a baton to get her to drop the knife. And then she did not remember anything and I had bullshit. a great lawyer that got her off. For what did. was it? Uh, 30 I was it lawyer part? Induced I call psychosis not knowing or something? Yeah, it was like cannabis that. induced psychosis. She yeah. had over 30% THC. I've had, more than, that. Wow. I've had no. more than that. What's I had more than that. I had more than that today. That was, that was, today. I was gonna say that was half time. It was a Ventura. Right? That was, that that was half time, dude. That was, there was there was multiple things going around. I was and like, and you want to help? And you want to? I, I didn't stab like, anybody <laughs> today, stab, bro. You didn't stab one person in Brum. I did a good job. Hey, man. I did good, good. man. It's fuck, dude. Hell yeah. Didn't stab me. Do you guys need a moment? I'm gonna go hang out in the bathroom. We'll get the smooches later. Don't worry about it. Okay. This is the tight pants talk, huh? But I don't know. I just, I feel like I've heard of people fucking wigging out like that on other drugs, but weed? Weed. weed? Yeah, weed is the one that's kind of like some PCP maybe. The only side effect of weed is it makes you hungry. She either had PCP or she was smoking spice or something. I don't think it was just straight cannabis. Which spice girl do you think she was smoking, dude? All of them. I got it. (laughs) She's smoking them all. You know? Bro, I just... That's crazy. Can you name all the Spice Girls? Go. Uh oh. Go. There's how many other? Five? five. Okay, there's five. Go. Sleepy. No. Grumpy. Scary. Baby. Baby. Sporty. Scary. Ginger. And posh. Oh. Yeah. And I get shit for in sync, dude. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, but but it's because you mute it and then it says who sings what line. <laughs> In the close So, but caption. you were listening. No, I was masturbating. Oh, there, okay. All right. I, I don't listen <laughs> when I masturbate. I try not to. That's what they were muted. I masturbate with the sound caption. off. That's when the closed captioning I'm comes on. Is when you mute it. I masturbate to subtitles. 
Listen, when two become one. Was it, wasn't there some movie where the dude <laughs> and he had to have like a like the instructions Spice on a bottle in the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. What happened? He had to, he had to like read the labels of shit and jerk off to be able to get there. That's wild. Yeah. Sears catalog. That was your, that was your thing, yeah. The lingerie section. Can you name every member of NSYNC? Fun fact. Okay, hold on. Fun fact. I can't. Hold Maybe. on. Maybe. Chris Kirkpatrick. Hold on. NSYNC is the one with Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Lance Jason Bass. Lange, Lance Bass. Is there one more? That's it. That's it. Joey Fatone. Oh, Joey, Joey Fat One. Enter yes. the Fat One. Yes. Yeah. He actually likes when you call him that. I got Lance Baz, Timberlake, him Joey Fatone, and I don't remember. I only know him You from, said something uh, about Casey. Oh, uh, Chris Kirkpatrick. Don't know who that is. And the only reason why I know that is Jay-Z? because Chris Kirkpatrick, you Did can you get say Jay-Z? ass kicked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z. That Chavez oh. kid. Yeah. Oh, dude, did we talk about Kanye getting rid of his teeth? No, we did not. Wait. No, I Bro, saw something. He did got you see some this? shit. Hope he got, like, Platinum, he looks like Jaws from fucking, uh, Gold, fucking Goldeneye. Nah. That's not what like, I see. I see some dude in like a hood. Yeah, he's always wearing around. a mask all the time. And oh, his wife Batman. is, no. This, it's Kanye wears like a black mask. He wears like, know, a, like a mask over his face. That's how, everywhere I've and seen him. And then his wife really. goes out in like a plastic they bag. They said that he removed his teeth and replaced it with like these this titanium shit that he's got in his mouth now. But uh, at this, I thought it was fascinating that some lady was like, "Yeah, he's fucked because uh, he's his jaw's gonna naturally deteriorate and yeah, go some back." Of that shit and will, I, yeah. the reason why people their jaw goes back when they lose their teeth is because you're, you chewing and biting and stuff is what keeps your jaw structure. So he's gonna be like, "I'll just buy a new jaw, bro." Ro- Robot Kanye, Doug? Imagine he would be jazzy. Oh, <laughs> I like that. That was good. Brought to you by Reach. Available on all streaming platforms. Last season work. Uh, you know what else Kanye just did recently? No, but can we talk about Jay Z getting up at the Grammys and yeah, saying that, that Beyonce should? Have won- it wasn't as it didn't. I didn't feel like it was as bad as the Kanye thing. Is that what I, they were doing? Is that what he was doing? Yeah, he but he just said like he, he just felt like it was kind of like yeah. Slided that Beyonce's never been one album of the year. That's wild. Well. And it's just kind of like, yeah, cool. Maybe just bad timing. You know, had you put it out any other year, the year of COVID, when nothing really came out, like, yeah, you probably would have won, but we gave it when, to what does the Fox say? Sorry, that one. When <laughs> has the system like ever been fair? It, yeah, but it's you know, like, like, oh, of course, of course, this is what, should Beyonce win something like that? Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude, fuck the right? system, dude. But it didn't happen. I don't know what to tell That's you. Wild, dude. It's wild. Yeah. It's crazy. But um, I just think it's crazy that Kanye did that to himself, dude. The teeth Would thing? you take out your teeth and replace? If you had all the money you could have, is, is that something you're doing? You could pull your teeth out and throw like some diamonds in there and shit? The only you know? way I would do anything like that is if my teeth were going anyways. I want Gary For Busey sure. teeth. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> I want implants. I want it to look butter like butter sausage. <laughs> talk about that butter sausage. <laughs> butter Let's sausage. Talk about butter sausage. What it is, what it does. Did you see? Did you see? Uh, Kanye's teeth are how much? Eight hundred and fifty grand. Fifty thousand doll hairs, guys. Is that per tooth? Is that There's only two teeth. It's just top and bottom. It's, it's, a t- it's, way, it's one solid piece. They're yeah. not individual. It literally so it looks, looks like, like he has he, bumpers for teeth. Yeah, it looks like he put aluminum foil over that's his teeth. That's what that shit looked look like. like. Now that you say it, I think of the video I saw him like, teeth. yeah, maybe that's why he's wearing the fucking mask. I mean, I would. Maybe he looked in the mirror and was just like, this ain't working. This ain't it. He's, you know? he's trying to be a villain. This ain't fucking working, yeah. you know? He is. He's a full-on Bond villain now, right? They should just throw him in a fucking movie with the mask and the fucked up shit. Worth eight hundred and fifty thousand. Connie's always saying he's dead. stealing Ozzy's songs and bro, shit in the process. Okay, yeah, we like, that great segue. Fucking what a dick, bro. It's like, we just like we do a Sharon podcast. Osbourne's gonna fuck him. 
<laughs> That's oh, up. Up. Didn't, didn't Sharon Osbourne fucking <laughs> send her shit in pe- to boxes for people in Bro, the mail? Yeah, she don't fuck around. She, dude. Sharon don't fuck around. She's got a ruthless fucking lawyer, and they fucking and have they don't him fuck around. And they so do you know what happened? Uh, is they he sampled a live something uh, from a live version of, of War Crazy um, War Pigs. Pigs. Yes. And he asked for permission, and they told him no, and, and he, he went and fucking did it anyways. And Sharon Osbourne is like known for being one of the most ruthless well, people in the music business. Well, so hold and, on, the dude like, that well, mentored her, and I don't remember his name. He was the most ruthless yes, dude, that and guy, he yes. fucking somebody owed him like three hundred thousand dollars. And he tied him up in his basement and like fucking tortured him and shit. And he, so that, he went to prison. So that guy that used was to... her mentor, and she's sending her shit in boxes to people. So her mentor used to manage Black Sabbath. Yes. And he fired Ozzy, and then she took on Ozzy as a client. Right. And then And then that's when he much went and more. did his solo shit. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's wild. But that guy was known for like just Getting fools fucked up to the point to where like he went to, he almost went to jail for it, but they pinned it on somebody else and he got. And Ozzy in a in a and he did he did it on X. He basically said that he said no to this because of his oh because of Kanye's dumbass comments that he's been yeah, yeah. about Jewish yeah. people yeah. and that yeah. whole yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so he was like I don't shit. want my name tied to that yeah, fucking guy yes. and yes. so they're gonna they're probably gonna make a fucking point out of this you yeah know? dude yeah. And then he's going to have to lose that bottle of John. He's going to sell his bro. Dude. That to awesome, sell man. that grill. Full circle. It's a circle of life. Ozzy's, Ozzy's going to be wearing the fucking grill. Imagine Ozzy with the grill. He's going to be like. Bro. Do you guys remember Paul Wall? Remember Paul Wall? Oh, yeah. That's the end of that conversation. All right. Let's, fucking, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> that. Um, hmm. did, you, did you want to go into the next segment? Yes. Okay, Let's go. Don't, don't okay. Look at the screen. I can't look at the screen anymore, guys. We're gonna play a little game here. Uh, can't game of names. Mark is not the most uh, sports, Dang. aside from wrestling. He doesn't do the baseballs and the footballs and the you know very or the much. hockey's or the. Fucking so we're gonna tennis. do. Uh, we're gonna say some names here, and Mark is gonna guess whether they are an athlete or a or porn, porn star. star. Okay. okay. Um, I think to make it. And Rob, Rob's going to read To make it a little you. bit more interesting, if I do guess that it's an athlete, I'm going to try to guess the sport as well. Okay. 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 We'll see. So I, Rob's okay. close. Can you see this well enough, Rob? Uh, somewhat. Okay. But, Sorry, I burped. We're going we're gonna to skip around a bit, but okay. Okay. Do it. I mean, I Shoot. can't see the list anyways. So. Do you want an easy one to start off with? Go. Magic Johnson. Athlete. And he played for the Chicago Bulls basketball? Yes, you're right. There yes. you go. Okay. Uh, is that the Lakers, Lakers yeah. bro? Lakers. Uh, hey, bro. Chicago I mean, Bulls. But, that did, was, but Chicago hey, was, Bulls hey, is an NBA team. I was close. It was in basketball. So we're in the same. And I said basketball. We're in the arena, right? Yeah. I was just trying to throw out some random facts, guys, that were not true. You. Testing you guys. There we go. Go. <laughs> That's the next one. Randy Johnson. Right? Oh, fuck, dude. He's a pitcher. Okay. Four. Who do you pitch for? Mm, well, he played I'm for I'm going to say years. the Athletics. No, I remember one no? point he was on I see the him like uh, Diamondbacks. Hat. Okay, he's the dude. He's that a pitched. really tall guy with yeah, like a mustache. And he's the dude that threw the ball and hit the bit bird in midair. Oh, that's a, yeah. Okay, okay, that okay. guy. That's him, uh, bro. I'm I'm doing pretty good so far, man. Rob, do the next one. Let's go. Dick Buttkiss. <laughs> Fuck, dude, that is a great porn name, but he is a coach for a football team. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was. Well, yeah, it's it was. Okay, okay. yeah. <laughs> the next one. Uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to bullshit. If I know it, I know it. Let's go. Meta World Peace. That's a that's a poor start, Dave. No? Okay, keep going. Let's go. Are you guys, think, are uh, you guys keeping tally? Meta, Meta World Peace is a basketball player, and I know him from playing on the Lakers. Legit thought it was a phone company. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Morgan. Porn star. Okay. Uh, soccer player. Was it was a soccer player? She's a soccer yeah, player. Yep. Uh, I was close. Okay, go. Carmelo Anthony. Oh fuck, that's a good one too. Uh Carmelo Anthony sounds. I'm gonna go porn star on that one. Basketball. No, basketball. basketball. I was close. 
I had a 50 50 chance. Basketball. <laughs> how about, how about this one? How about this one? Howie Long. Uh, he is the host for Deal or No Deal. <laughs> no, that's not how we like. He was a he's a oh, NFL player. Mandel. He played for uh, he played for the Raiders, right? Yes. Bro, he just gave it away. He plays for the Raiders. Got you. <laughs> All right, that's a check on my end right there. There we go. Right. Uh, Angela White. Angela or Angela? Angela, Angela White, porn star. Yes, I got it. Uh, <laughs> said that with confidence. Rolly fingers. <laughs> Rolly fingers? Rolly fingers. Rolly fingers. Fuck, dude. This is like, it could be a porn star, but it's also like a great nickname for like a pitcher. Uh, or possibly a catcher. I'm going to go porn star. Uh, <laughs> no. Nah, pitcher. Pitcher. Baseball. Pitcher. Okay. Baseball. Uh, uh, Oakland okay. Athletics, right? Yeah. I think I, he played for it. The that mustache. was my next yes, guess. Yes, yes. He's the dude with the mustache. The curly mustache. Yeah, I remember that. I feel guy. like they're all the dude with the mustache in baseball. No, no? This, uh, dude <laughs> had, this dude had the stash that curled. Yeah. Okay, okay. His name was Raleigh. He's just a character, right? Yeah. Raleigh Fingers? Raleigh Fingers. Raleigh Fingers. That's Raleigh Fingers. You're in the wrong business, Raleigh. Johnny Sins. Johnny Sins is a porn star. You're right. Uh, I'm going to tell you why I know this. I'm going to tell you why I know this. It's because I watch What Culture Wrestling uh, Products on YouTube, and the guy that does it, Simon Miller, always gets comments saying that he's Johnny Sins. Apparently, he looks like the dude. He's a big, jacked, white, bald dude. Um, Go. You guys want to read some of these to him? Let's go. Manuel Ferreira. We're going to go athlete. And I'm going to guess... Is it fucked up to say soccer? I'm going to say soccer. Porn star. Yeah, I was, <laughs> fuck, I was close. Uh, right. Megan Rapapone. I'm going to go. Rapapone, I'm, whatever. I'm, I'm going to go porn star on that one. You, uh, no, it would have been a horrible one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. Soccer. Fair enough. soccer. Okay, okay. Soccer. Lindsey Vaughn. <laughs> Lindsey Vaughn. No relation to Theo Vaughn? I don't know. Vince Vaughn? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say porn star. Well, she is skiing some poles, but oh! she's an alpine skier. Yeah, alpine See, it's hitting those slopes. Technicality? Half point. Kieran right. Lee. Kieran Lee? Kieran. Kieran Lee. I'm going to go athlete. Porn star. Porn star. Right. <laughs> Who's doing good in the mid? Naomi I, I Osaka. Off, I started off hot. Naomi who? Osaka. That is an athlete, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, that Tennis. sounds like an athlete. That sounds Ooh. like Sport. something incredible. Sport. Uh, <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> the next letter she did, she did something in the Olympics. <laughs> Ryan Driller. Ooh, that's a... Fuck, dude, if that's not a porn name, dude. Ding, ding. There you go. Okay, porn name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, all right. Elena Del Don. Deli Don? Deladone? 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 If it's Deladone, she's a porn star. star. I'm going to say athlete. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what we got? How many more we got? Oh. Uh, we, we got a couple more. I know that's more? Giannis. Can somebody say the last name? Atikunkompo? Yes. You did it. One okay. more time. Atikunkompo? I'm going to say porn star. Basketball. 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 That was my next guess. You, I can't believe you, you nailed that. Uh, rest. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty cunts. <laughs> it's it's cunts. Por- Porn star. It's, it's porn- actually pronounced cunts. Is it is it, is it porn star? No, it was a baseball yeah, no, player. <laughs> <laughs> baseball player. Baseball player. That's crazy, dude. Rusty cunts. Hope Solo. All these guys are in the wrong business. Hope, Hope Solo. Solo. Hope Solo. Star uh, Wars. I saw that Star Wars movie. That was a porno. Was, they're gonna go porn star. Soccer. Brie Bella. Soccer. Brie Bella is an athlete. She's Nikki Benz. Uh, over? Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, there we go. Vanessa Williams. Uh, is that a singer? Venus. That's Venus. Venus Williams. Oh, sorry. Was, okay, because Vanessa Williams, is, she it. plays like piano or some shit, right? Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. Tennis. Uh, uh, so we're going to say tennis with the one that v- Venus Williams, you said? Yeah. Yeah, I know who that is. She's the other one's sister. Sasha Banks. That is a athlete, WWE. Okay. Brandy right. Rhodes. That's uh, Cody Rhodes' wife. Athlete. Mickey James. 
also an athlete. Lana Rhodes. Said, Lana Rhodes. Mm-hmm. Lana Rhodes. I'm gonna go porn star. Thank Riley you. Reed. Porn star. All right. Was I right on that one? You yeah. Right. Oh, there we go. You guys. It's been the last bit of Warcast. You guys, please check out our single Reach, available on all streaming platforms. But before we go, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Check this out. <laughs>